Hello and welcome. This is Mr. Guevara and I'm going to guide you through a few methods on how we can do subtraction. So the first method we can use is drawing your pictorial representations and using the deans. So I'm going to put deans down here. So this is our first representation here. Let's have an example of 36. Let's subtract 24. Okay, so we're going to find the equivalent of that. So 36, subtract 24. I'm going to get these deans here. One of these represents a 10. One of these represents ones. There are 10 of these ones to make up this one 10. So we'll start off with this first number, okay? Then it's otherwise known as a minuend. So the minuend is 36. We always start with the minuend with the biggest number, some say, and three tens, and we need six ones. The six in the ones column represents six ones, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got a 36, and we're gonna subtract 24. So if you wanna write it out, because you don't have your deans, let's make some pictorial representations here. So I've got 36, my minuend is 36. Three tens and six ones. Okay, I've got my 36 here, just like it's shown here. Now we're going to subtract 24. If I'm gonna partition this to expose this expanded form of 20 and four, then we know we're going to subtract two tens, which is 20. And we're going to subtract four ones. So here we go. Using the deans, I'm going to subtract two tens here. And I'm just going to take them away. Subtracting can be known as taking away as well. And four ones here. One, two, three, four. So I'm doing taking away as a form of subtraction. Four ones, I'm going to tick them both to say I've done that. That's the process I've done, and I'm left with one ten and two ones. So if I put the digit two in the ones column, the digit one in the tens column, my answer is going to be 12. Now let's see if we can do that with this. Remember we're subtracting, and I'm using um, taking away as the form of subtraction here. So we're going to subtract 24. I'm just going to take away these so I can keep track of what I'm doing. So, I'm going to subtract four ones this time. First one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four. So I've subtracted that, okay? I'm left with two in the ones. And now I'm going to subtract two tens, which is 20. So 10, 20, or one ten, two ten. I'm going to take them away. And I'm going to do one more, one ten left here. Put one in the tens column and I am left with 12. So 36 subtract 24 is equivalent to 12. Sometimes you might come across a problem when using this method. Here is a case where you might come across a problem when using this method. I'm just going to alter these numbers. Here we go. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to swap these two numbers around. So instead of 36, I'm going to say 34. And instead of 26, 24, <laughs> I'm going to say 26. So our minuend is now 34, and our subtrahend is 26. So the reason why this is a problem is because when I've got my 34, and I want to subtract 26, this is what happens. I've got my three tens. Okay. I've got my four ones. Good. And then I'm going to partition the subtrahend here into 20 and six. And then I'm going to subtract this six here. One, two, three, four. Now, this is where the problem happens. I've got my four, but I want to subtract six. What I'm gonna to have to do is I want to subtract 
little ones here. I need to get the ones. So that's where the problem happens. I can't just take this whole 10 away. What I'm gonna need to do is to exchange. So, how many ones make up this 110? That's right. We need to get 10 more ones and exchange it. So I'm gonna have to exchange and get to my 10 ones. Here we are. So I'm just gonna keep it here for now so I can keep track of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just to make sure and just to be very, very certain. There we go, yes. Ten ones is equivalent to one ten here. So I'm going to exchange it now, so here you go. I'm going to take away this 10, exchange it for this 10. I'm going to put 10 into here. Okay, so we've got 10 and the 4 we had originally. So now we've got 14 in this 1 here. Take these straight ones away. I did something wrong here. We've definitely got 10 now, but to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, and then I'll fall from earlier. Okay. And now, since we've exchanged it, we're going to be able to subtract the 6 here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. Easy peasy. All right, so what would that look like when we're drawing it out? Three tens and four ones. Now, we concentrate that six, so we're gonna have to exchange this 10 here. I'm going to just circle it and say that I'm going to exchange this for 10 ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like doing things in fives because it's just easier to count. All right, so that's no longer three tens. It's now two tens here. And now we're going to subtract the six, just like we've done here. Subtract six. I'm going to cross off the six here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So what have we got left here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight in the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Phew, that makes eight as well. And now we're going to subtract two tens here. One ten, two ten. I've got to tick that to say I've done that. Two ten. Okay. So we've got zero. There's zero tens left here. So our answer is eight. We don't really need this zero to hold the place of the tens here. It's gonna just look like that if you want to do that just so that you're clear about what you've done that's fine so 34 subtract 26 is 8 okay so here we go subtracting the two tens here 110 210 and here I am I'm left with 8 I don't need to put 0 here it's just 8 all right so that's how you can use subtraction using Deans and exchanging when the subtrahend, the ones in the subtrahend, is greater than the ones in the minuend. Alright?